Hey Daniel. I knew it would happen eventually. You graduated before I did. I'm still gonna sit here and hold down the fort for a while. You've also given me lots of good advice that I've taken and used and um, it's been been very good. Um, I remember we had a, one of the times we were in the apartment, we, somebody, somebody had dropped their phone down a pipe or iPhone or cell phone, whatever. Um, and we're like, we, we can do this. Just, just hold on, we'll figure this out. We discovered how useful beetle paper was. Um, we got some beetle paper, stuck it to the end of a stake and went out to where it was, which was one of the pipes, one of the um, geothermal pipes outside of EE. Um, that had an open top at that point. It was about about eight feet down in the pipe. Stuck it down there, stuck it on the iPhone, and pulled it back up again. Um, stay focused on the Lord. We all have our challenges. Um, we've spent <laughs> quite a lot of time hashing out each other's. And have faith. It's worth it. And you know that, but if you stay focused on him, all the other things will fall into place. Hey Jimmy, your boys from 210 here. We were just giving you a little shout out for your graduation. Oh, we each wanted to say something a little bit about you. Uh, hey, congrats on the uh, big interview and the process. I heard it went well from you, so that's awesome. And uh, I know you'll do great in uh, your job. Hey, Jimmy, congratulations on making it through college so early. Um, big accomplishment for you. I hope everything goes well with the job and interview and everything afterwards. Uh, I only wish you the best. We really care about you here and uh, really enjoy the time that you've spent in the room with us. And uh, we've learned a lot of things from you. So um, hopefully that continues to, uh, continues to happen and that we can stay in touch in the future. But if not, still best of luck to you and you're always in the prayers. Hey Jimmy, uh, congrats on graduating so early. You're two weeks older than me, and you're graduating. I'll be here for two or three more years. So uh, that's quite the accomplishment. Uh, I'll miss your crazy sense of humor, and uh, just seeing you every day around the house. Yeah, that's all we got, Jimmy. It's uh, it's been an honor to know you the past two years, and uh, just make just remember that we're all here for you. Um, good times, bad times, we're always gonna be here for you. Your work, uh, your work ethic is admirable. And, we just know that you all do great things in his kingdom as long as you uh, keep your life centered around the Lord. Um, yeah, it was great to get to know you, Jimmy, and congrats. Love you, man. Corey, I never told you this, but at Andy's small group, we had cookies one night, and you got up to go use the restroom or something, and Jacqueline tried to steal one of your cookies. She accidentally dropped it, and Mozzie, Andy's dog, started licking it. She unashamedly put it back onto your plate and you started eating it. But well, congratulations. A lie. Congratulations. So and you know, it's been great getting to know you. You're an awesome guy. Why are you telling lies? This is permanent. What? <sighs> Wish him congratulations, Jacqueline. Hi Corey. <laughs> I still can't believe you are graduating before me. Um, considering I was here first. Um, so that's just not fair. Uh, I'll never forget the first time we met and how Andy awkwardly initiated the conversation. But you know what? I will always remember you. And I will always be the niece of Dr. Walker. It's fine. Whatever. Um, I know you're going to do great things in your career. And uh, congratulations. We'll miss you. Hey, Tim Toy. So you're finally graduating. That's a huge accomplishment. I'm really proud of you, man. And just between you and me, you're my favorite roommate. And you know what they say about... Wait, two isn't this supposed to be for Brian? Oh, shoot. Hey, Brian, jerk, 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 set, jerk. So, you're graduated. That's... A huge accomplishment. I'm, I'm so proud of you, man. And between you and me, you're my favorite roommate. And you know what they say about people who uh, lived in 202? 
So I know we don't know each other very well, but I really appreciate you uh, being a part of my wedding. So Brian, do you, do you remember uh, the first time we met? I do. And I know for a fact you don't. When I first met you, I knew you were an amazing, strong-willed, and very intelligent and spiritual man. And you've only yet to just keep on proving that to me. But when we officially met three, three-ish years ago, um, yeah, you're also a great guy then. And it's been, it's been a terrific time getting to know you. Hey, Shanna. Shanna, congrats on graduating. I'm so glad that we got to spend four awesome years together through college. All of the late nights of studying and laughing have finally paid off. You've been such a dear and sweet friend to me, and I'm so thankful that we got to share in life together, even though it often included a lot of late nights. You are one of my closest friends, and I'm so thankful for your strength, your joy, and your silliness in our friendship. I've loved laughing with you, crying with you, growing with you, standing with you as each of us got married, being challenged by you as we've grown in our relationships with God, with our husbands, and in our lives through college. Life has definitely thrown a lot of things our way the past four years, and our friendship has continued to grow and mature and even morph into new levels of awesomeness as we've grown as we've grown individually and as friends. We've had so many adventures while in college, and I hope they never end. Some of our favorite memories have been Waltzing in the rain Our end of the year dinner at Colton's to celebrate surviving freshman year just after you and Jacob started dating The family tree The sibling tree The sibling road trip Coming home to find you taking a nap in my bed Continually pranking Carl and Jacob even when it meant climbing out of a window or making a sandwich or hiding chicks in their apartment The good times at Kaylee's bridal shower sophomore year Cooking with hammers Hiding under a bridge and shushing small children as Jacob proposed to you. So many of our greatest, funnest, oddest, and awesomest college memories involve you. I'm so thankful you decided I looked nice the first day in Trig Review because it it was the beginning of a beautiful friendship. You're an incredible woman of God, and I'm so excited to watch you succeed in all you set out to do. I dearly miss you and being able to hang out all the time, but you will always be a dear friend to me no matter what states we live in. You are one of the smartest, wisest, and most kind-hearted women I have had the joy to know. Congrats on all that you've accomplished while in college. I'm so proud of your dedication and the years of hard work that you poured in. I know you will succeed amazingly in your master's work, and just don't forget about Tori and I when you're a crazy rocket scientist. Keep running after God's heart, and never forget that you're dearly loved and treasured and made free because of Him. We love you so very much, and congrats on graduating. P.S. If your nose gets cold, don't forget you can warm it up in a bowl of water. I don't want to comb it, Tara. Is it recording? Yes. <laughs> well, in that case, I won't be combing the camera's hair, pretending it's straight. But Trey, congratulations on graduating with nearly a 4.0 and going to Cali to work for Google. We're all here just super proud of you. But man, I especially want to say thank you for pursuing the Lord. You really do teach those around you many things without explicitly going about it. I remember something that really illustrated who you were was when we go hiking at a park, you just start running through the woods barefoot without regard for thorns or potential deer ticks which scare me to death. And I would just follow you And we'd have a lot of fun just going off the beaten path. And I feel like that really describes who you are and just enjoying the wonderfully simple things in life and teaching me that the most important things around me often don't require a lot of work to find. And so thank you, Trey, for all of your wonderful time here at TCF. Thank you for this fantastic time that we've had here together at, at Missouri s and I remember when I first moved into the house, you were one of the first people to really take the effort to, to befriend me and get to know me. I remember I was sitting in the kitchen eating breakfast and you invited me over to your table and started talking about football and Yamamaru. Since then, you've become one of the best friends I've ever had. Uh, we 
we were able to schedule all of our school together and go on co-op at the same time just so we could graduate together. Um, and it's been fantastic. You've always pushed me to strive hard academically, but also take advantage of all the friendships that I've had here. Uh, I'm really going to miss being with you and miss seeing you uh, every day as we have our classes together. But I'm so excited for what God has done in your life, and I pray that uh, He really blesses you wherever you go. And I pray that we can continue to maintain this fantastic friendship as the years go. What's up, Eli? It's me and Aaron here. What's up? Um, just want to thank you for letting us use your car. Um, it's uh, very um, warm. Yeah, in spite of this cold outside. Snowing too. Yeah. Gosh, we got the day when it was flurrying out. So, um, oh, where do I start with Eli, man? Um, you are you're the guy that got me into CrossFit. Um, you know, the big workout guy. Um, probably would have never got into that if you didn't drag me there. Um, but besides the times just going to the gym and hanging out. And, you know, getting big, um, you've really been one of the older guys that's invested so much time into me, uh, whether it be through giving me spiritual advice or um, advice about school. You know, I'm really going to miss you, dude. Um, I'm real salty. I only got two semesters with you. Um, but, you know, you got to go and graduate sometime. So uh, I wish you the best of luck, and I hope to see you back in Rolla a ton, man. Hey, Eli. Uh, dude, I've just loved all the time we've gotten to spend with each other the last few years. Uh, you uh, have single-handedly helped me pass more than a more than a few few classes. Uh, you're my my study partner, my workout partner, uh, my brother in Christ. Uh, you've been such a great example. Even though I'm over a year older than you, you have just this concrete relationship with Christ that is just so evident in the way you live. I've loved get, getting to know you more, getting to know uh, just your your past, your your goals for the future, uh, your interests, and uh, you've. You've been a great friend, man. I'm, I'm really gonna miss you. All right, now we're gonna move into a segment we like to call Quotes from Eli. And these may or may not be paraphrased. Some, it's just what we remember. But um, I'll start first. That's inappropriate. I'd probably be a carnivore if I could. Doggone. <laughs> uh, I'll probably die when I'm like 60 max, but it won't be in a boring way. Do not eat in my car. <laughs> Please put my chair back the way it's supposed to in my car. I'm going to have no furniture in my room and just have a pull-up bar so I can do pull-ups while I watch television. When I die, please put me in a wooden Viking ship and shoot a flaming arrow into it as I float away. I got a new pack of protein today. Hey Eli, do you want to go watch something instead of homework? I could probably be persuaded. Oh. Alright, let's get back inside. <laughs>